Hi hey everyone, Paolo here. Welcome back to the channel. This is another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is part of my Unreal Engine UMG UI series. From the last video, I covered how to install the common UI plugin and created a simple pause menu. You could go check that out. In this video, we're going to learn how to build the knowledge from that and learn how to build the common UI carousel like the one from the content example. So if you haven't downloaded that content example and don't know what I'm talking about, you could go ahead and grab that from the marketplace. And here I have the common UI map loaded and I'll just fly to the last demo here. So the last demo is called Utility Widgets. And when I interact with this podium, I get this pop-up and when I click on Widget Carousel. This is how they implemented the Widget Carousel. So we're going to learn how to do that. So here's a simple setup that I did. When I hit play, and I interact with that thingy. I have this uh, texture in there and I could slide to the different tabs and they would fly in, fly out. And I hit close and it would disappear. Cool. So let's learn how to build this. Start off with a new project. Go under Edit, then Plugins, and search for Common UI. Make sure that's enabled, and then restart your editor. And open up the Content Drawer. Uh, create a new folder here. I'm just gonna call this Main. Create a couple more. So Blueprints, and then UI. So the first thing we're going to build is the carousel. So right click, select user interface in the widget blueprint and search for common activatable widget. WBP carousel. And let's quickly mock this up. So first, let's add a canvas panel. And let's also add a blur. And just anchor that all the way through, reset everything zero zero, and give it a strength of 15. So with that out of the way, let's create another canvas panel. Put that like so, and just arrange the order. This would be a carousel panel. And I want it in the middle. I'm just going to reset those guys, the 900 by 900, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 to center it. Cool. Next, let's search for common widget carousel. So this is the one that we need. So drop that in the carousel panel. It should be anchored there. I'm just going to anchor that in the middle. Reset that and also set this to 900 by 900, 0 0.5. Cool. There you go. Next, we're going to drop a couple of vertical boxes. So vertical box number one. And here we're going to add an image. Make sure it's under the vertical box. There you go. And next, we're going to add a text. So right now, the blur is inside that thing. So we don't want that and probably change the order of this one to negative one so it's the back change this like so and this one i want it to also kind of fill then change the content to say you could put whatever you want content one i'm just going to quickly duplicate that so the first one here is content two Next one is content three. And let's search for another component called common widget carousel nav bar. So drop that in your carousel panel like so. Give it a name. Say nav bar. Cool. So let me see where that is at. So I don't want it there. I want it somewhere here and just drag that like that and probably for my vertical box here for my widget here I want it to be 800 and just line it up like so now that we have that out of the way um, go to the graph section so we don't need the pre-construct 
we don't need the event tick we just need the event construct so from here we're going to set the visibility of this um, widget we're going to set it to hidden and then we're going to drag that uh, carousel here and we're going to drag the nav bar here and from here from the nav bar we're going to say link carousel set link carousel so with this function you want to link the nav bar to the carousel that we just have and then do it like that and there there you go we're also going to put an event on activate so this would allow us to activate this widget um, so when the widget is activated we want the visibility to be shown set back to visible cool save now let me dock that like there now there's one more thing that we need to do here which is if i jump to the event graph and just select this nav bar it's asking for a button widget type so we haven't created one yet so let's create one so create new blueprint and then put it under there and let's call this common base button save and we're directed to this class so this is from the common button base class part of the common ui plugin and here we're just going to add a horizontal box and we're just going to put some text on that horizontal box and probably resize this to the side screen cool so and then this would be what would be showing on that tab so right now from the demo it was just tab and if we go back to the carousel you should now have that selected cool let's compile save now let's create a new blueprint of type actor and say bp uh, pickup or something cool and here we're gonna add a static mesh so here I'm gonna search for a cylinder resize that a little bit maybe to 0.25 and just give that some weird material to make it pop out cool and then we're gonna add a collision so that should be fine now jump into the event graph we don't need the event begin play or the event tick we just need the event after begin overlap so when any actor hits this we want to create the widget the widget is called uh, wbp carousel and then we want to add that to the viewport once it's added to the viewport, we want to do a couple more uh, setup here. So we want to activate the widget like that. Let's clean that up, put that down a little bit. Then as normal, we want to set the player controller. We want to set the input modes. So set input mode to UI only. So that's way the game would just be interacted with the UI, not with the game itself. And also we want the mouse. So set mouse cursor to true. Put some arena nodes there. And then we want to pause the game as well. Set pause game set that to true so let's compile save let's go back to our map and let's drag this somewhere there probably need to make the collision a little bit bigger so let's make that probably 100 all around so that's 100 So when I overlap that box, I get this content. So when I hit that, and then you could, as you can see, the buttons here are not that quite right. So let's fix that up. So go to the base button component that we created. If you click here on this, um, the main button here, you would see there's a style option here. So right now we don't have any style. So click on that. 
and then under our main here UI just say new common button style save that and here you could define all the normal or selected states so for the normal let's keep that let's change that actually let's keep it a little bit darker drag that in here save and then when it's hovered we want the color to change to something like green and when it's pressed we want to change it to something like blue and then the selected state here by default let's do something like that and same with the selected if it's already selected change to a different color and then when it's pressed change it to probably back to blue compile save that go back to your common base and you should now have a style defined exit that click back here then go back here and overlap you would see that the buttons are now fixed so it's using a common button style now of course you could put an image here if you want so let me quickly do that under my main here i'm just going to put some assets create an assets folder and i created this in photoshop so I'm just going to drag and import them like so cool and i'm going to jump back to my carousel here expand that under the first image under brush search for any of your images so i have here a potion i'm just gonna quickly fix that because it's kind of disproportionate so i believe the size is 408 by 496 so that's looking a little bit better save that and i'll do the same for the other image and this one i think is called mana 408 to 496 auto fill save and do the same for the other image you notice it doesn't really match up here but you just need to be cautious that what you selected here on the hierarchy is what you're editing cool and 408 496 auto fill and save cool so let me dock that let's hit play again characters playing now we have that thing cool so that's it so hope you like this video thumbs up thumbs down please subscribe to the channel cheers bye for now